to this day. 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 And uh, Fury, I mean, have you got anything to add to that? I mean, were you involved at any point or um, you were linked with White's team or his management at least? Yeah. Obviously, yeah. I think Dillian's lawyer loops me into an email or something. Frank was Frank was actually... Um, what's up? What's up? We'll always do what we can for fighters to give them the opportunities that we can. And yeah, uh, there's, n there's nothing more to say on it other than um, I'm just glad the fight is happening. Hmm. Those are the words of uh, Boxer, okay? Um, ben Shalom, okay? If you don't know what Boxer is, Okay, Boxer is a fast-growing promotional company in the UK. A lot of you guys might have already heard of it. Um, they are a young, fresh promotional company, which um, it's looking like Dillian White was involved with Boxer to get the job done. And if you listen to just that, shout out to Lady Shan for... Uh, for dropping this uh, video about uh, the boxer promotional company helping Dillian White. If you add also what Frank Warren said yesterday about Eddie Hearn and his involvement, saying that he has nothing to do with it. You guys remember that? Because he's not promoting the fight. Well, that also should tell you that there's a good chance if this if the, if not uh the truth Dillian White is joining with Boxer and his involvement with Eddie Hearn is not the case and it might be a situation where because he Eddie Hearn didn't win that purse bid I think that opened a gate for Boxer Promotions to come in and help Dillian White and assist him okay on the other end because Dillian White has his own managers, and you've you heard uh, Ben say, "Well, hey, we've I was emailed from Dillian White's manager. So what does that mean? He's involved in the circle of negotiations that happen to help this fight get made. But who you don't hear about is Eddie Hearn. Yeah, he gets interviews. Yes, he talks on what he knows about it, but he's not promoting the fight. And Frank Warren wouldn't have said what he said if it wasn't true. Some of the time." <laughs> right but of course that would have been a counter from eddie hearn if if frank made that type of bold statement that said hey eddie hearn is not involved in this situation so if he's not involved in the situation well um i think at the end of the day okay um boxer has taken over or taken over from our four dillian white in negotiation now the question you ask yourself for how long is this just a one-time thing or is this just something that is going to be the constant the norm so this is huge news because dillian white and eddie hearn have been like this i mean they've been they've had their differences don't get me wrong but dillian white has stayed pretty loyal because as you can remember if we go back in memory lane dillian white was on this side of the pond and he came over here and he talked to a few people, okay? And he came back with newfound information and he was eating hot dogs and pizzas and shit. And he got all fat, right? Well, this is uh this this here is more so because now we're hearing a person from Boxer Promotion saying that, hey, I was in so many words a part of the reason for the Dillian White and Tyson Fury fight to take place. Okay. So anyway, you guys tell me what you think about this new news. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys, Ben Counterpunch. Peace.